Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning In this video, I will explain about my team research The title of my team research is Needs Analysis on Phenomenon Based Learning Media in Higher Education And I will introduce myself and my team My name is Asti Febriza I am from Universitas Islam Riau And my team are Bapak Zul Afdal from Universitas Negeri Padang Bapak Jimmy Kopriyadi from Universitas Riau and Bapak Dedi Putra from Universitas Riau Okay, let's start this explanation from the background What is phenomenon based learning? Phenomenon based learning or PNBL is one of the cutting edge approach approaches used in Finland's school. PNBL is the multidisciplinary instructional approach that is learner-centered and based on student inquiry and problem solving. PNBL challenges students to find out why and how things occur, then apply their knowledge to the real world problem. Furthermore, PNBL encourages students to participate in the collaborative activities directed at the problem solving and answering question with the creativity, critical thinking, communication, and collaboration skill. Go ahead to the previous research. Some researchers conducted related works about the impact of PNOBL in the various courses. The findings sh showed the improving understanding, critical thinking, scientific argumentation, and judgment, motivation, more extended time of retention, established earnest behavior. And then what is the problem? As we know that, PNOBL starts with the real life and real world observation of phenomenon from different points of view. However, challenging it is challenging to present real world phenomena of science even curing and the nature into the classroom so how to solve this problem one method of to make it simpler to integrate the science occurrence into the classroom is through media chemistry is the branch of science seeking answer to the question of what why and how natural phenomena are connected to composition structure and properties therefore chemistry is appropriately took by penobel in the previous research, we know that some researchers have done research about the implementation of PNOBL toward the sum skill. But the research about the need analysis of media to implement PNOBL has not been found, especially for general chemistry. So this has become the novelty of this research. Okay, turning to the research method. This research used descriptive quantitative research method to describe and analyze the response of students and lecturers to the needs of PNOBL media. The survey was conducted on the lecturers and the science students from eight provinces in Indonesia and then the sample was obtained using the norm probability sampling technique and received a sample of 21 science lectures and 383 science students from eight provinces in Indonesia, namely Aceh, North Sumatra, West Sumatra, Riau, Bengkulu, West Java, West Kalimantan, and Central Sulawesi. And then the research instrument used in this research was a semi-structured questionnaire and then the data analyzed by descriptively with percentage calculation okay let's start about the research question the research there are three research question topic in this uh, survey the first is the need for media for PNOBL. The second is 
appropriate media for Penobl, and the third is can the suite of pigs suitable for the Penobl? Okay, we're looking for the result and discussion from these three research question. Okay, right, let's start to the first research question result. This is the result about the deed of media for Penobel. From this figure, we know that 100 lecturers agree that they need media for Penobel. And then the 98.8% of students agree that the need of media for Penobel. These findings was in line with survey result that teachers or lecturers need an exciting and innovative innovative learning media to cope with the problem encountered in science learning. This research then by Putri and the CN. As you know that create or use learning media facilitated teachers or lecturers in delivering materials to the students. Science, especially chemistry, analyzes natural events that regularly occur in everyday life and can be explained scientifically with media assistance. Okay, we turning to the second question result. From the second question result, we get this figure. The question about appropriate media for Penobella. From this figure, we know that most students and lecturers choose interactive multimedia as a Penobell media. Moreover, the video moreover, the video become the second choice for students and lecturer choice as a 69.8% of students choose the video and 66.7% lecturer choose it. This interactive ebook obtained more than half more than half of response percentage of students and lecturers. On the other hand, ebook and the printed ebook were a big choice of respondents. In addition, from this video we know that students gave uh, their own choice of media in terms of virtual laboratory and teachers explanation with the percentage at about 0.3 percent regarding to the this result interactive multimedia and video become the appropriate media for the penobl this finding aligns with the with some researchers study which propose that interactive multimedia improves students' learning outcomes or experience, tutor lab experience, and resources to enhance students' learning. Besides that, other findings reveal that the application of phenomenon based learning in science class with the video with the video assistance had a positive impact on students, such as improving critical thinking skills, conceptual understanding scientific argumentation skills, and allowing students to ask questions relevant to the movie they see. Okay, for the result of the third question, we got the video 3, the percentage of general chemistry topics. Students and lecturers were, were surveyed about the topics of general chemistry that PenoBL could implement. The question provided a list of chemistry topic and respondents could choose more than one and give additional topic if no option match. This finding of general chemistry topic was to was chosen uh, by the lecturers and the students. From this video we can get information there are three prominent general chemistry topics in daily life with the most percentage uh, reaching more than half chosen by both student and lecturer. They are uh, acids and bases, 
then electrolyte solution and non-electrolyte solution as well as colloid mix mixture what about the other topics the other topics obtain a percentage more minor than the three majorities this finding indicated that students argue that all chemistry topic contains phenomena in daily life because they choose all of the topics in the a list of the chemistry topic given. This finding in accordance with the Bargavas and Sifkio Blues findings that chemistry is related to everyday life events and it has had such an impact on our life and we are unaware that we are constantly exposed to chemicals. Okay, this is the result and discussion from this research. What is the conclusion of this research? We propose three, three conclusions based on the research question in this research. The first is for students and lecturers acquire media for PNOBL since Media can help students can help lecturers easier to bring natural phenomena into the classroom. And then the second conclusion both students and lecturers choose interactive multimedia and video as the media systems. And the third conclusion of this study is the three prominent chemistry topic choose by the students and lecturers, namely acid and bases, electrolyte and non-electrolyte, and colloidal mixture. Thank you very much. And finally, I say, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning.